With his wife Marina at his side, former Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko returned to the Ukrainian capital Kyiv to fight charges of treason that he rejects as politically motivated. There was chaos at the airport after Poroshenko landed on January 17th, flying in from the Polish capital, Warsaw. He was held up by border agents for about 15 minutes. Poroshenko is under investigation for a coal deal that allegedly helped finance Russia-backed separatists in eastern Ukraine in 2014 and 15 while he was in office. Poroshenko was eventually let through customs and greeted by cheering members of his opposition European Solidarity Party outside the airport. He defended his record and accused his successor, President Volodymyr Zelensky, of trying to discredit him to distract from Ukraine's widespread economic problems. One of Ukraine's richest businessmen, Poroshenko, left the country in December and had his assets frozen. Ukraine's State Bureau of Investigations alleges that Poroshenko conspired with a pro-Russian Ukrainian oligarch, Viktor Medvedchuk, to create an artificial coal shortage and a scheme to benefit separatist fighters who have waged war in Ukraine's eastern Donbass region since 2014. Віктор Медведчук досягнув певних домовленостей з Петром Порошенком, який, як президент України, мав необхідні можливості адміністративного впливу на вертикалі виконавчої та законодавчої влади. Порошенко's return comes amid a huge Russian troop buildup and military drills along Ukraine's border. There are widespread fears that Russian President Vladimir Putin is planning to attack Ukraine. Some Western diplomats worry about growing political divisions inside Ukraine as tensions with Russia mount. We need to be absolutely sure in this case, as in every case, that the rule of law is followed, that there be a fair consideration and certainly there be a fair trial. Uh, and second, I will say that this is a time when um, the government of Ukraine and the United States and all of its many allies around the world need to be unified. Poroshenko later appeared in a Kyiv court that was to decide if the former leader would be detained during the pending investigation and trial. Prosecutors asked for his arrest, with bail set at $37 million. If found guilty, Poroshenko could face up to 15 years in prison.